One of the greatest tragedies in life is to think that you are free, but to still be confined to a box, living in a box of stereotypes, other people's opinions, sweeping generalizations, and racial profiling. Sociologists have unearthed a newfound phenomenon called quarter-life crisis. And it says this generation of youth in their mid-twenties begin meandering through the painstaking task of asking themselves, what am I going to do with my life? Is there any hope for me? What should I have done differently? Grandmother, I need you to know that Freddie had to have been in a quarter midlife crisis. Because at 25 years of age, being black in Baltimore, no opportunities to go to Johns Hopkins, no doors open at the University of Maryland, no scholarships at Morgan, and no access to Coppin in a place where I have minimal opportunities, Freddie had to have asked, when I can walk down the harbor and see Exelon under armor, when it is that I can look across the water and see millions of dollars being poured into Camden Yards and m and Stadium, he had to have been asking, what am I going to do with my life? He had to feel almost like he was boxed in. Now on April 12th at 8.39 in the morning, four officers on bicycles saw your son. And your son, in a subtlety of a revolutionary stance, did something that black men have been taught, trained, no not to do. He looked police in the eye. I want to tell this grieving mother, you are not burying a boy, you are burying a grown man who knew that one of the principles of being a man is looking somebody in the eye. 